1993. You with me there? I am indeed. All right, so here we are. Hi, this is Jim at Board Visuals. I'm honored to have my good friend Travis D here online speaking to us from the wilds of Long Island. Uh, Travis. Hip ahoy, Jim. <laughs> I'm sheltering in place on my yacht with David Giffen. Ahoy. <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with Travis, he's a, an author, a critic, a skeptic, a director, a playwright, a producer, a publicist, a public speaker, not to mention uh, the author of two wonderful books, No Applause, Just Throw Money, the book that made Vaudeville famous, and The Chain of Fools, Silent Comedy and Its Legacy, two wonderful books that are out there for your perusal at any convenient time. Anyway, Travis and I are going to talk about what he's doing now with this new uh, paradigm of life. What's going on, Travis? Hey ho, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, the video aspect reminds me of the old Steve Allen shows and the Man on the Street. Yes. So people think I'm doing Mr. Howell, but I'm really doing Louis Nye, who <laughs> nobody remembers. I remember him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I'm doing a bunch of. Uh, stuff on video instead of live events um uh, next week uh on the 14th uh, the smith opera house is doing all of their programming through video now so they're going to show uh, on may 14th they're showing um martin scorsese's Hugo, and i'll do the talk back after that uh, we'll talk about melies who the movie is largely about um on memorial day weekend theater for the new city they're doing their annual um, Lower East Side Festival of the Arts on video. Um, so I'll be performing at that as though I was really there in person. Um, the Niles SNA Silent Film Festival in Niles, California, oh, doing you. their annual uh, Chaplain Days in late June. That's in late June. And so I'll be speaking at that about Charlie Chaplin and vaudeville. And then, as a kind of experiment, uh, Dixon Place has booked me for their hot festival live. So we're going with the assumption that maybe uh, the, the plateauing of the COVID-19 will be cool enough here in the city that we could try something live. Um, if not, maybe we do it uh, online again. But... Um, july it might be kind of quiet here even as it's peaking all over the rest of the countries that's true um yeah so at the hot festival in late Ju july um i'll be talking about a uh, drag that's july 24th drag and vaudeville and burlesque nice uh, should be very fun if you get me drunk enough i'll be in drag <laughs> otherwise it'll just be on drag <laughs> coming out after coming out from behind the uh, the monitor to being live in person, you might have to get a little inebriated. Yeah, that's right. And besides, it kills the germs. It kills the. <laughs> that's <cold>. true. <laughs> it does kill getting, the germs. It's like, it's very like uh, prohibition days. I must say, everybody's like woohoo! <laughs> it's party at the end of the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, and uh, what, what have you been writing? I mean, you've been writing your, um, some wonderful stuff on your blog lately, Travel Inch. Yes, and actually today um, I'm kind of resting because, uh, because I have blogger elbow from blogging too much. <laughs> but actually today on my blog, today is the 50th anniversary of the release of the Beatles' Let It Be album. So uh, wow. I did a post about that. By the way, listeners, um, I'm supported by Patreon, and I have a Patreon campaign, so if you're able to kick in even a dollar or less a month, it helps. puts a spring in my step, even if it's, you know, doesn't buy many groceries, but it helps. Everything, little, every little bit helps. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I, um, you know, I think I think you were prompting me to talk about our book project together, maybe. That would be uh, fun. Was, we're doing a book on Rose's Royal Midgets, folks, uh, and... That's a very interesting topic. I know a little about them. I look forward to researching it and learning more about them. So um, that's a company of little people from back in the vaudeville days. Um, and then sort of long term, um, probably uh, maybe late summerish or so, uh, Jenny Lee Mitchell and I have been planning to do a benefit for Amy McGrath 
uh, that'll be an all Kentucky themed show that's designed to raise money for Mitch McConnell's opponent uh, because he's the one who put us in a, a lot of the pickle that we're stewing in at the moment. Yes. <laughs> so, and, um, you know, I realized I know a bunch of performers who are either from Kentucky or will do Kentucky material um, just to show that it's a wonderful state. They're not all bastards like, you know, that guy. <laughs> like the, <laughs> the, like the, the, the turtle. <laughs> turtle corpse. <laughs> Whatever the thing he is, vampire turtle. <laughs> uh, so, and that should be fun. And I think, you know, as the more and more I, I toss it around, I talk to Jenny a little bit about this. Um, it'll probably be an online show because then it's very easy and we can book some, some bigger stars. And then it also makes giving the, the money very easy because you can just give it direct to the campaign. We don't even have to keep any books on it. You just give it right to the campaign. That's a great idea. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, so that, yeah, and writing. Also, long-term, other long-term things, that's next year is going to be my 25th anniversary of doing vaudeville shows. So I'll either have a big live show for that or an online one. And I'm starting a podcast I call Son of Pale Face, which is going to run from between uh, the 400th anniversary of um, the Pilgrims Landing at Plymouth Rock and go for a year, once a month, until the anniversary of the first Thanksgiving. Uh, and what this show does, uh, there's also a live component if we ever do live shows again, but it's mostly gonna be a podcast where I talk a lot about Native American influence on American pop culture, things like medicine shows and Westerns. And I weave in uh, some performance art, like autobiographical stuff from my own life, some stand-up type comedy material and uh and uh stuff about my my own ancestry um you know the the people who came in 1620 and then have been really kind of well, well, the past 400 years <laughs> um sort of a podcast 13 month apology so that's son of pale face nice named after the bob <laughs> well, thank you very much, Travis. Nice visiting. Oh, thank you, Tim. All right. Be safe and well. All right. You'll talk to you soon. And you. Take okay, care. Bye-bye.